Man, this is crazy. The NFL media is still trying to trade Devontae Adams for the Las Vegas Raiders. Well, actually, it's not just the media anymore. Former NFL receiver Deshaun Jackson joined in not too long ago saying he talked to Adams and he's not happy in Las Vegas. I'm thoroughly disappointed in Jackson right now. I never took him for the type to gossip like that. Once a Raider, always a Raider does not apply to him. He has some sort of agenda that isn't good for the Raiders starting a rumor like that before the season starts, but it didn't work. Adams nipped all that and even put it on his kids. So now it's back to football. Week 1 against the Los Angeles Chargers. Speaking of which, how are they going to stop him? Let's get the BS out of the way first. Are all these guys going to stop this crap? Because he can't make it any plainer than he's making it right here. Yeah, if you have to do anything extra to sort of address that with the guys, kind of dispel some of that stuff. That's, I'm, I'm, I'm mad and glad that you asked that because I actually the other day was getting ready to, my thing is, I mean, you know, I don't, I don't do a lot of apologizing because I, I like to be careful about what I say. So when it comes out, you know, things are, this person said this, they said that, I don't like to even jump in, give it attention because then it makes you, you know, look halfway guilty. But um, at the end of the day, and I, I'll just address this right now because the, the most recent one about Deshaun Jackson saying whatever, he, he talked to me and whatever. I mean, I almost put a video out the other day, but then I, I came back on it because I just didn't want to even bring the attention and start, put, you know, having that in the team's mind and, you know, everything I say ends up, and I'm sure this will be too. But at the end of the day, the facts are the facts, and that is not a fact. I've probably spoken to Deshaun Jackson maybe three or four times in my life, and I never had a conversation with him ever, and I put that on my kids. I've never spoken to him about anything only person I really talk to about my feelings in general is my wife, probably. And she ain't out there leaking anything and, and dropping stuff like that in the media. So once again, whatever you see, if it ain't from the horse's mouth, it's probably. So I don't like that. I don't like when that happens, because at the end of the day, I don't really care because it's, you know, I don't I live my life and I've gotten to where I've gotten in life in this game or whatever, just from not really paying too much attention to what people say and not feeding into it, not even responding, which is why you haven't really seen me come out and say, oh, this ain't true, that ain't true. I don't even want to give it attention because it's already enough. The moment I open my mouth, it's all over everything. So, but I guess they got what they wanted this time. Whatever has been put out there lately is complete BS. I've never talked to Deshaun Jackson about one thing, so I don't know why, you know, I, I didn't see the interview, so I don't even want to say, I don't know if that is a, a real quote that came out or how that played out, but in terms of me being upset or not being happy in this organization, it's just a bunch of BS that's just meant to throw everybody off and get, you know, clickbait. Everybody want to see what Devontae Adams got to say. And, you know, he's pissed off in, in Vegas. If I was pissed off, I mean, I, I wouldn't be here right now. Like I said, back at my camp, when I want to think of somebody here might have interviewed me then. I don't, I don't do a lot of the extra stuff and, and, you know, whatever you hear from my mouth is, is what you get. And I don't think that y'all stand in front of me getting the vibe that I want to leave this place. And if you do, then you just feeding into the that they that they feeding y'all out there, and that's not a, that's not reality. So that's what it is. There it is. He's a Raider, and he wants to be a Raider. He shut anything that had anything to do with him not wanting to be a Raider down. Now that you heard all that, let's get to some football. Something Adams is really good at. Again, how are the Chargers gonna stop Adams? They've had very little success doing that since he's been a Raider. But they've had some and here it is. Here I gotta give it to corner Asante Samuel Jr. I believe he's the Chargers best corner and he gets a good break on the ball here. And now he's just gonna drive on it and knock it away. There were also times Adams could have had him with a good throw but it wasn't there. Look at that, he has a step on him and that's all you need in the NFL but the throw wasn't there. Now here they're going to give Samuel way more credit than he deserves. Look at this, Adams is wide open behind the defense. They said wow he intercepted a pass that was intended for Adams, but he wasn't even covering Adams on the play. There he is in the yellow circle. The ball was just so badly underthrown that he was able to pick it off. Here Adams is wide open over the middle and it's a bad throw. And 
Now here's a touchdown miss because of a bad throw on the fade. Look at that. Adams leaves plenty of room to fit that ball in, but the throw was off. Alright, that was 2022. This is 2023 right here. Samuel has a little more route recognition here, and he broke it up. And here comes another good rub with Samuel. He didn't get mesmerized, drove on it, and broke it up. He was feeling himself after that one. But Adams has been abusing Samuel during his time as a Raider. Here he gets just enough separation on the quick out to score. And this one I'm not sure I've ever seen before. Oh. Look at the separation here. Samuel still isn't running in the right direction. That man is lost. Uh, which way did he go, George? Uh, which way did he go? And to add insult to injury, Adams is going to make him miss his tackle attempt. Oh. Here he's going to let his fellow receiver clear the way for him. Adams really didn't even have to do anything there. That's that New England Patriots stuff there. Then the ball is going to come and he's going to catch and get a first down. Alright, that was game one of 2022. This is game two of 2022. Samuel's backed way off here, so they're just going to give Adams a little something to get going. Alright, here we go with Samuel again. Ah, got him again. Another first down. Ooh, he almost got more. <laughs> Watch this. Samuel getting at work. Adams crossed him up so bad the man actually fell down. If the Raiders didn't have a sniper at the top of the building somewhere, that's not a good look. All right, we got Samuel on Adams again. All right, here we got Adams ready to make Samuel go over the top of the pick. And that's obviously gonna get him a ton of separation. And that allows him to get a little run after the catch. All right, that was 2022, this is 2023. And Samuel's playing way back. Samuel is now determined to keep everything in front of him. All right, all the corners are back here. Samuel's just trying to stay safe and keep everything in front of him. And he already knows what it is when it comes to him and Adams. And it's the same thing when someone else on the team is covering him. They have success every once in a while, like here. Then there are the times that the quarterback lobs the ball and doesn't throw it on time. Look at this, the ball should be there already. Then to compound things, then Raiders quarterback Derek Carr lobs the ball and gives the defensive back a chance to catch up. And it's going to be an incomplete pass. But in his two years with the Raiders, Adams has abused everyone the Chargers have put in front of him. Look at this right here. Route running starts with the release and Adams got a good one here. And here comes the ball, the catch, the run after and we have a good play. Again, it starts with the release and he owns them. And there it is again, the separation. Something Adams is a master at creating. Now he's inside where he has two-way go. What's he going to do with it? He's going to mesmerize him off the line and get vertical. And look, he already has a step on his man. Now we're in 2023 and look at this. Man, Devontae didn't give him a chance there. And here's the slant, his bread and butter, but no one can stop it because there's so many other things to worry about. And here's some more run after the catch. 
Who on the Chargers is going to stop all that? Football is back, even if it did start with the Kansas City Chiefs. Sunday's like Christmas, though. It can't come soon enough. There's a lot we don't know about the Raider offense right now, but the one guy we know is going to show up is Adams. That's what he does. There should be no doubts about his happiness now. Quarterback Gardner Minshew is no Aaron Rodgers or even Derek Carr for that matter, but he knows who his go-to guys are and he will go to them. When he was with the Indianapolis Colts last year, he targeted receiver Michael Pittman 156 times. That means we'll see plenty of Adams this year and it starts Sunday against the Chargers whom he has abused since he's been a Raider. Will they find a way to stop him now? Thank you for watching. See you next time.